As we reported yesterday, the United Nations Scientific Panel says the impact of climate change will be out of control if countries don't do more to stop pollution. Seth Doan is in Beijing, and he shows us how the problem is inspiring some people in China to take action. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Yes, that report says that humans are to blame when it comes to climate change. And here in China, home to some of the world's most polluted cities, we found a number of people, even artists, are looking at this issue of the cost of breakneck development. The masters from one world create a soundtrack to ink the master works of another. 33-year-old Yang Yang Liang was classically trained in the ancient art of Chinese calligraphy. You just moved to the studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At his Shanghai wall, studio, his own work the, hangs on the walls. It evokes a serene Chinese landscape, the way nature intended. But look closer. This is Shanghai stacked together and made to look like a mountain. Yes. Everything from the trees to the jagged cliffs are created from images of today's China. Here it looks like a rocky island, but it's actually skyscrapers. On large computer screens, Yang zooms in to reveal how he layered thousands of tiny photographs to create and comment on another world. The development of our cities is at the expense of nature, he tells us. Yang takes pictures in cities across China. As he snaps the photos, he doesn't know how they'll come together. Ultimately, a telephone pole might wind up resembling a tree, or a house can become a rock in a river. He says he sees human beings as fragile, and through development, they're creating their own demise. The techniques that he's using, also the concept is completely different. Shei Shu is a student of Chinese art. She works in a Shanghai gallery that sells Yang's work for thousands of dollars. She says this contemporary artist evokes the old to criticize the new. China has a long-lasting history of art, but right now it's kind of lost. You see urbanization, you see industrialization, and people are losing their tradition. This is uh, the Ming Dynasty. Far from the Ming Dynasty paper scrolls that were his inspiration, his newest work is projected. His pieces show a Chinese landscape cluttered with skyscrapers and cranes. Young says good art should awaken inner emotions. I want to make people reflect, he says. Modern life is comfortable and convenient, but we rarely think about what we exchange for that. Young, the artist, says he wants people to reflect on the world around them, which is certainly easy to do here in Beijing, where pollution is quite bad. Right now, it's a relatively good night, but the pollution is over 150 on the index. We checked the pollution index for an equivalent scale in New York City. That number is eight. Nora. Wow, incredible story. Seth, thank you so much.